and see. Yeah, hi all and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all fine. Like you can see here, I got a nice sexy motherboard. This is an ASUS Rampage 3 Gene. Um, this is just like the ASUS uh, Rampage Extreme 3. This one is of course a little bit smaller like you can see, but it's also very, very great. I love this kind of motherboard. Uh, I got this one for about 35 bucks on eBay. Uh, the reason why this is so cheap is because here was three or four pins totally bended. Now I have just managed it to get this pins back uh, just in the place where they should be. So here, like you can see, 35 bucks with, uh, let's, let's say, an IO shield and some kind of uh, yeah adapter for the for the pins later for the case for the computer case um yeah i just wanted now to share this video with you guys that you guys know how you can get this possible the only thing you need is a teaser like this one here or a tweezer and then you need a needle and uh, recommend is also that you take the needle and then you just lap it here first okay so um the needle when it's very sharp you could destroy the pin and that's why I just go around and uh, lap it here, okay? So just to be sure that you're gonna not damage it even more. Um, yeah, I don't know um, which problems it has in the background. Maybe we have here more problems in the background. I don't know. The guy just told me that the pins are totally bended and he just don't want to get some CPU. I got here also two CPUs. Um, I have just buy them, yeah, for purpose to test it inside. So they was not cheap. I paid about 20 euros just for two of them. They are great Intel uh, CPUs with just about 60 watts TDP. This is an Intel Xeon socket. 30, um, 3066 this is an l5640 okay maybe you're gonna not be able to see that so it's a six core uh Xeon. not the strongest one but uh it's very cool this one here is just using about 60 watts thermal design power like i told okay 60 watts tdp so you do not um, need a big uh cooler for that and that's why i just bought them because it costs me just, uh, just about 20 euros. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna now just try to get this uh, camera here on this mini <laughs> tripod, and then we're gonna try, um, yeah, to record or that you guys that you guys can see how you can make this possible. Um, because yeah, it's really um, a little bit um, yeah, what calls tricky, and uh, you should just uh, maybe take a look. But maybe you're gonna be able to do that also. Let me not just get the thread here. How to get this camera now so place it that you guys are gonna be able to um, yeah see that with me. I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I'm not sure because this is very very small tripod, <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best. Wait. <clears throat> so it's all about patience, guys. Okay, so now let's go a little bit more up here. Okay, well, false again. So, give me a second. We're gonna do that somehow. You can see now the pins, and um, the first thing that you should know is they should always be in the same line. When you see that one pin looks just a little bit more on the front, it needs to go back, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna not sit perfectly on the CPU. Um, I have done this a lot of times on uh, lots of motherboards, socket 775, 1366, 1150 and that stuff. Um, but the most, the most important thing is that it needs really um, to be bended back, just like it should uh, be original. So I'm going to try now to get this bad boy here out the package. <clears throat> Give me a second. And then I'm going to show you that also on the CPU itself. Come on. All right. So I got you now the CPU in my hand, and uh, take a look. Focus. Yes, here we go. Okay. L fifty six forty, and now um, I'm gonna turn it to the other side, and here you can see now <clears throat> where the pins are sitting mostly. Okay, so the contacts. Um, now I'm going to try to show you that, let's say this pin is just here, it was just perfect in the middle. So that means you have a little bit space uh, up and down, okay? So I know the light's just disturbing right now. I'm going to try it again to show you that. 
let's say here see that it's sitting mostly here in this place and you have mostly a little bit yeah free room let's say like that the, the pin called other sits here a little bit or let's say a little bit more down but the most important is that it sits here and not there because if the pin is just bended too much it cold touch this one here too and so you you could have a short circuit okay look at here now i just saw that right now so you can see that this pin was totally bended it was nearly not touching the contact okay uh, so this pin should go a little bit more to the right side and up okay you can see that this two pins here was not perfect and here you can see a lot more see that so here you can also take a look how your motherboard uh, socket looks like here you can see that this pin has here contact and the other one a little bit more to the right side but this is the room that you have okay so here it not needs to be 1000% a perfect work you could probably um, be a little bit wrong because um, let me zoom back a little bit right now the thing is like that also um, now let's just place this bad boy here so and now you can see that mostly you can move it a little bit yeah take a look on this edge you're going to be able to see how um, I'm moving so here see that so it always conforms how you have closed it okay maybe the CPU was on the left side yeah or maybe the CPU was full all on the right side so it conforms where the CPU was sitting and that's why yeah it's just yeah hot calls just later you're gonna know how it was really uh, close it because here you need to take a look um, that it's yeah it sits just in the middle this is the most important it needs to be really in the middle sometimes um, yeah just control it yourself again before you close this part because then it's really totally close okay and this um, is sometimes also the reason why people has a faulty motherboard or let's say a, a faulty working motherboard with a working uh, processor um yeah so you can do that you can repair that uh but at last you need uh, really to take a lots of care now uh before i go on here um i'm going to show you now how um you can do that so sorry that this video is a little bit <laughs> complicated um and strange for you guys but it's even more complicated for myself <laughs> so <clears throat> i'm going to now try slowly to show you that because normally i just need yeah, 100% to be focused on my work and uh, I still here need to do this too here, okay? So um, I'm going to try so, yeah, good as possible. Um, you should go here inside under the pin and you just try to push the pin to the right side, okay? Because they have, um, let's say the pins here, they are sitting always in the same place. And when you see that one contact is just, uh, let's say, too much on the left side or too much on the right side and try to bend it back so the problem is that this pin i'm going to show you that, uh, that later this pin is some kind of um here it's up and then it, it goes just a little bit down and then it gets inside the hole or let's say the socket okay and um <clears throat> that's what i'm doing here with this needle here okay here i get here inside under the pin yeah well, let me just focus even more Oh god, it's gonna yeah really be very very small and complicated for myself. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm here now. Uh, more zoom, more zoom. Okay, so uh, but I have done uh, yeah already a nice work. It was so bad, guys. This was so bad. I'm yeah just trying not to get under the pin like you can see here. See that I'm now under the pin. And um, I don't know if you can see that really great. So now I go under the pin right there. See that? I push him to the socket, okay? Because it has here a place which um, 
Turn on the lights again. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Yeah, no, it was very good. Oh, come on, zoom. Yes, no, it's great. So, <clears throat> again, you can also see that um, uh, it's very small for myself here and here. We got a small hole. Okay, I'm gonna try to edit the video later. Um, so, and I think it, it's this one. Wait, no, I'm looking to the camera. Wait, no, it's this one. Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna try to get it. Yeah, under there. <clears throat> And always move it slow. Okay, push him now till the end on the socket. And with this too, or let's say with the tweezer, uh, bend him back. Okay, down because he was just lifted up, and this will see the problem. Okay, look, it begins to get better. And it, like you, like I showed you, it not needs to be perfect. Okay, it not needs to be perfect. Uh, control also the other pins, but um, as I can see right, uh, right now myself, I'm on the good way. And the most important is that you work here very slowly, with lots of patience. Um, do not drink coffee. <laughs> Better not. So again, I'm going to bend this one here. I'm pushing it to the right side, like you can see. And then I yeah, bend it in back. Okay, so this is the way you can go. Very tricky, but it's worth. Normally, you should really just do that all alone. Without people's around. <clears throat> so I see. Looks not bad for the first time. And, and believe me guys, this was really looking so bad. When the main board came home, I just thought, uh-uh, I see. This time you're going to not be able to fix that. <laughs> yeah. It was so, so, yeah, destroyed. The pins was just bended totally. Okay, for first... Um, I'm happy, and you can see this takes a lot of patience, guys. <clears throat> so let me try to focus again. Yes. But it's still too much, so now... See that? It's this one and this one. But the rest is okay. I'm gonna give it one more try.
just try to get under there. <clears throat> yeah, it looks not bad, but I'm still not that happy. So, um, the most important is that you got your contact, nothing else. Okay, so I'm gonna now just go to this side. Okay, so this are now the pins. Um, <clears throat> wait, where's my camera again? Here, so you can see here one, two, three, but um. I'm sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a better work. Then later I will as a need to take here a look. Because, um, sorry, somehow here, this one's I also press it too much down. You can lift them up a little bit. See that? Easy. The problem is also when this kind of CPUs are running hot, um, you need to imagine that these contacts here, they are like some feeders. When they get too hot, uh, they will stay down forever. So, um, yeah, you could probably go around and try to lift them up a little bit. All here. Okay. So these are about uh, 1,000. 633 pins socket 1633 yeah um but it looks no not bad <laughs> i'm happy so here i can see sometimes you can also see it by the lights how it's reflecting and so you can go on and try to repair them or to bend them back so this one here could still go a little bit more up so, <clears throat> yeah, okay, I'm gonna now uh, just try again here to do some stuff, but yeah, I'm happy for now. Later, like I told, I'm gonna, yeah, try to close it one time, and then I'm gonna open it again to see how the pin looks after that, okay? Because you should do a test, get the CPU inside, close it one time, open it again, just to see where are the pins right now, or let's say after that test. Okay, guys, uh, I have done all my best. Um, I have just controlled it also. It looks great. And um, now again, that you guys can understand what I mean. Um, this pins, or let's say this pins here, should always be in the same line. Um, up and down and also sideways. Okay, so I'm going to not just that you guys can see. Let's just um, take a look on this side here. Okay. And then you can also see that from the left to the right, it's all, um, yeah, a nice line, okay? We're going to just like that. <clears throat> um, you can see you got over there always some kind of dots. You see that? Some small dots, which are the contacts. Um, I think um, it was long, long ago. Uh, I, think, I don't know, maybe 13 years or 14 years ago. I had a motherboard which... Um, a dot like this on the top was just broken. I have managed it to repair it with some soldering. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So these pins here, they are always um, gold contacts. 
and you can solder very great but you need really a lot of skills now um, let's go look to the side which was damaged this is this side here and um, you can also see that we have here a nice line okay and also this way okay so here and this is what i'm just trying to explain you now let's get the cpu <clears throat> and um, you can also see here we got a nice line in this case um, get just your processor and then you can also uh, control it by yourself so that means here the cpu gets here inside just like that see okay wait slowly you can see that okay so this is the direction where the cpu came in and then you just turn it and then you can control it yourself so that means um we have here this kind of plastic then you go all to the front and then you need to count one two three four okay so this is the fourth and the fifth one that means here go just around and count it also one two three four so this uh, should be this two here okay so we are not bad okay i know this is all very small <laughs> So again, <laughs> sorry guys, <laughs> oh my god, so here again, one, two, three, four, five, okay, um, here again, let's go all to the front, this line here, okay, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, yeah, so this is the way you can go. Now I'm going to close it. I'm going to give it a try. And then we're going to see if we're going to have some monitor or not. And uh, yeah, let me not just prepare it all and then we're going to go for a test. So guys, I have not just uh, prepared it all, so this is not really just fix it, but it's enough for the test. We got one memory here from Crucial. Uh, yeah, so all finished, all prepared. Now let's just turn the power supply on. And let's hope for the best. <laughs> <clears throat> so let me not just take the tripod. Okay. Yeah, guys, um, let's see. So, all is connected, the red lights are on here, this is on like you can see right now, monitor on, yeah, let's hope for the best guys. Mm -hmm. Something, yeah, 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 come on, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice CPU fan error, of course. <laughs> I got it not connected. Yeah, man. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, guys, one more proof that all can work if it just work clean and sexy. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna hold you up to date because um, I just want to overclock this nice uh, CPU here. Uh, you need to know one thing that the, you know, the uh, what calls uh, mainboards uh, socket 1366, uh, they are made for overclock, okay? These are still the ones with triple channel support. <laughs> yeah, it's working, guys. Can't believe.
Wow, wow, wow. 35 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to not just shut it off because I'm the guy that wants also to take a look inside the chipset. So um, you always should do that because you never know how it looks under there. And the most times when I just opened them, they was always so dry and so hard and the thermal paste so uh, will not work that. Oh God, <laughs> I'm so happy once again. <laughs> I have done it and uh, that's why I just wanted to do this video with you guys together and uh, yeah I hope you like it so for now I got a lot to do <laughs> it's gonna be my second system <laughs> in this week because um, yeah it's just awesome I love this you know I love this because uh, these are boards which you still can play the most games and you can get them very cheap <laughs> in this case i paid just about 35 bucks i think this guy gonna be really very very mad now <laughs> but yeah doesn't matter so i was able to repair it this is uh, the most important now i'm gonna flash the bios to the newest bios because here i got a nice xeon inside and yeah uh, wait 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 so here again like i told i buy them uh, let's say two of them for about 20 bucks and uh, I got this cooler here from Noctua which is not a big cooler here I got it also for 30 bucks included uh, these two uh, fans I got the power supply for um, I paid 60 bucks for two of them okay I got two of this um, yeah straight power which uh, has uh, 500 watts really quality and you can see that I got the other one they was brand new <laughs> okay so you can see I'm not lying this one and this one <laughs> for about 60 bucks so that means I paid for one 30 bucks okay just now make let's make the calculation 30 bucks the board was uh, 35 then I have paid here about 30 the graphics card I had just at home and then I've paid I think about um, 40 bucks or 50 bucks for three of this crucial they are really rare and hard to become so um, they are really working nice so these are nice crucial memories which are yeah blinking blue I found them also in red but they are very unique okay and I found them from USA so I'm waiting because later I'm gonna mix it up here you can see it already <laughs> I got here an ASUS Rampage 2 gene and working like a charm, really, just perfect. And uh, with three blue uh, from this crucial, and then I'm gonna get here three in red. So that's gonna be, yeah, be really some old school style, like uh, shining blue and red, mix it up together. So they're gonna blink just crazy. Blink, 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 red, blink, 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 blue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I know you can feel already that I'm, yeah, very happy <laughs> again. A great system for less money and you want to be able with a bigger graphics card of course you want to be able to play the newest games okay <laughs> I'm not kidding <laughs> I'm gonna prove you that okay but yeah now this video needs to get uh, online for you guys so you know how to fix that stuff okay so all right that was all for me and the see in the place to be <laughs> wish you the best and yeah stay tuned on my channel see ya big love <laughs> bye bye yeah, by the way, this is the reason why I told you, always open it. Never trust it, okay? Look at this. Yeah, like I just thought, all totally hard, look. See that? Just like stone. <laughs> I can scratch it off with my fingernail. And you don't need any other tools, just use your fingernail, look. Totally hard. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you should always first check it out before you just use it for a longer time. Big love. <laughs> bye bye. NC in the place to be. NC.